Now, I'm just saying that I'm certifiably positive that in my professional opinion, these tips, if you were to examine them further, you might find them useful for things that you might find yourself doing at some point in the future. I don't know what. Can't think off the top of my head what. But a couple of things that you might want to know about. First being how to create a work plane through the middle of a model. So I need to create a work plane directly through the middle of this model, which is going to act as a center plane to allow me to mirror that feature over to there. So I need to create that center plane running through there. Now, there's a number of different ways of doing that but this is just one of them. So what I can do is click work axis and then pick the spherical face here, all right? And that's gonna run a work axis directly through the middle of that spherical feature. And then I can do it again on the lower feature. So I've now got two work axes running directly on top of each other like that. Now, if you were to click work plane and then pick the two work axes, it's gonna intersect a plane in between those two axes. And that's now created a center plane based on those two work axes. And I can now use that work plane as a center line to mirror that feature over to the other side of the model. Another thing that you might want to know about is using direct edit to move a feature based on a distance away from another face. For example, you might want to do this at some point. Pick direct edit and then change your selection to faces. Pick this face here and then instead of just dragging the feature based on X, Y and Z distance, you can select measure from and then pick a face in the model. It's gonna let you then place and position this feature a certain distance away from another face, like for example, two mil. It's now moved that feature to be two mil away from that back face. Repeat, direct edit, make sure faces is selected, pick a face, measure from, pick your face, type in your distance, and you've now moved that feature to be a certain distance away from another face. And just to verify that that has actually happened, you can do a measure between those two faces, and it is actually two mil between there and there. Not sure, just saying not sure when that's gonna come in handy, knowing these couple of tips, but you never know, you never know. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.